What's up everybody? Tyler Parsons here again. This week's workout with a purpose is going to be on rotation. Okay, so we're building on top of the separation, but now we want to see how much can we go on and get a nice big turn with that upper body. All right, so the best players obviously isolate that lower body that have big massive turns, get loaded up behind the ball. That helps them get into great sequencing as well as able to hit that slot to have that consistent path. Consistency is gonna be key whenever it comes to golf, okay? So, six exercises for you. The first three, no weights, very simple. The next three, build up a little bit, but again, it's that little intermediate. There's nothing that you can't hop off the couch and do, okay? So the first one that we're gonna look at is gonna be with reach backs, all right? Now, there's two variations we can do. The one we're gonna to do today is with a free hand. So we're down in the all fours position. We want to turn under, allow the hand to move and work free, rotate up as much as I can. I feel like I'm trying to force this arm back, back down and under, a nice big turn. So as I get to the top, I feel like I'm pulling with that right hand, okay? That rotation again is working that thoracic spine, but in addition to that, we're getting that protraction and retraction of that shoulder blade, allowing it to work and move. That's going to be much more like that golf swing. Now the big key on what to look for, hold this hip still. A lot of you are gonna to wanna to cheat and are gonna to wanna to move off and slide so we can get that little extra rotation. We don't want that. We wanna keep the hips nice and still, turn as much as we can, go through, go to that other side, all right? Keep it simple, go through, do a set of 10 if you need to. If you wanna build on it, we can always do that second, third, what have you, okay? Moving on to the next, we're gonna hop up and we're gonna do a nice little A-frame stretch. So here's my nice letter A. Same thing, I wanna watch the hips. I want a nice big turn. Getting that to move up. Again, just rotating side to side, okay? The next one is a windmill. Now we can either do this with the club behind our back, in which case now this locks in those shoulder blades, makes it a little bit more difficult, or we can do it with a nice free hand and as we go free-handed, I always try to tell the player, feel like you're Gumby. If you don't know who Gumby is, you're probably a little bit too young, but nice big turn. I can see this going back, so I get up, and then as I'm coming through, you can see it's just pretty loose with the hands. They're just sort of flopping around. Nice and elastic, building that up, but really trying to turn. Turn, turn, turn. Pull as much as you can back. Push through with that other side get the entire back involved allow those muscles to fire and do their job because a lot of you have them shut off okay we're over to our next segment with the weight i'm going to grab a simple little five pound here and we're going to do some little dig throws here so i go for my golf posture we're going to act like this is a shovel we scoop it up we want to throw it up and over same thing on the other side all right it's fine if the hips rotate, but again, really work that back. And what I want you to do is we get to the top. If this were a shovel, we can't just throw it with our arms. We want to extend with that back. Work that thoracic extension as well, okay? So we're just going side to side, nice and smooth. We're not trying to throw it and flop it up. Nice controlled movement, extend at the top. To bring a little bit more to the table, on this next one, we're gonna keep the same weight. Now we're gonna do a step turn. So this is a little repeat of what we've seen, but we're over, we're here, firing that through. Again, this is gonna be important. I'm gonna turn to the back. As I come through, I'm gonna allow this left arm to come back around. So that's working that shoulder blade. As I go to the other side, turn a little more. Now we've got this one moving, okay? So again, it's not all about just rotating. We gotta get those muscles to work with us and for us instead of against us. So nice big turn, step, nice big turn. We're just going side to side. Again, really trying to thrust into it. Throw that break on with the front leg, with those hips around, and then really let that body turn. For the last one, you can use a bench or a stability ball. Stability ball is a little bit harder in the sense, if I start to wobble and move around as I turn, it's not gonna stay stationary, okay? But we take a nice little weight, we're gonna go from here, Nice big turn as I get to here again. I'm trying to keep on turning the best that I can. The lower body has to stay nice and still. Turn to the other side. 
The big key to look for, always try to get somebody for the first time in front of that mirror. You don't want to rock this way and try to counterbalance. I want you to engage in that core to have the brace, get a nice big turn from there. Nice big turn, you're gonna stay nice and vertical through there. Get to work on these, it's gonna help out with your rotation, get you hitting more consistent and some longer drives.